That's the whole argument. We don't have more. Uh, and I just want you to guys to, to remember, and I, I've had to remind myself, uh, Chirna it means cheer Serna. Okay? So it makes your life a lot easier uh, when you see a Chirna. If you throw a Ser in there in your mind at least. Okay? It's not a mistake. It's just assumed. Okay? Uh, so Kachik says, Shung Lumba. <coughs> What's Shung? The main, main text of Abhidharma. Yeah, you can say classics. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the collections yeah. are in there. Abhidharma classics must be Abhidharma. Abhidharma. <laughs> okay. One, to yeah. get to be Abhidharma is kind of hard. It's, a, it's a, like an exclusive club. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. basically you have to be a direct perception emptiness, mm -hmm. right? And one of the three, yeah. the one of the three ladder paths. Mm -hmm. or otherwise, you get, don't get to be called Abhidharma. Mm -hmm. okay? So you got to be having direct perception, and to be real Abhidharma, you have to be, you have to be the direct perception emptiness on a path or something like that. Right. So uh, he says. The books, which are called accessories, mm -hmm. uh, the, the books which help you get to those three paths, okay? The classes here, uh, those are called accessories. They're not real. They're not Abhidharma themselves. They're just aids to get to Abhidharma, okay? Uh, then he says, I want the books to be counted as real Abhidharma. Okay, what, I think the read? books. The, I'm just, just assuming. Uh, no, this Chungamba. He's saying the books are Abhidharma, meaning real the Abhidharma. The real Abhidharma real. books are Abhidharma. Abhidharma. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. Abhidharma books are Abhidharma. Are Abhidharma. Yeah, that's what I was implied. wondering. Too. Yeah, How is that implied? But is it definitely applied? Well, it's it's otherwise, he wouldn't say it because they're already the other Abhidharma. Right. Yeah. They're already minimum Abhidharma. If we bother to differentiate, then it's clearly a subset. No, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't say, oh, the books are lesser Abhidharma. They already are. They already got to be that. <laughs> right. He we must get mean real. Of Agram, but you can do it in an ancient text, I guess. Okay. Lan Okay, because 
Abhidharma in the form of path and the results of those paths. Mm -hmm. Abhidharma in the form of path and the results of those paths is Abhidharma. Abhidharma. Now he might be. (coughs) (coughs) Hey, Genshin Lotar is calling me. Awesome. Oh, that's nice. Later. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Very talkative. That's interesting. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Teaching this Americans could to refer to uh, path three and four and path five. Oh, uh, the resultant it's paths. It's possible. No, the three and four as the lam, uh, and five oh, as the dude. No because the fifth lam, the fifth path, is a the five path, is a result. No yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah. the state of arhat, right. or it's the state of Buddha. Mm-hmm. So, if it were me, I would sort of think of it this way. Uh, this lam is the third and fourth path, which is path of seeing, seeing and the path of habituation. habituation. And then the result of those two, which is the path of no more learning. Okay? So, uh, just because those paths and the result are abhidharma, Okay, just the, just because Abhidharma in the form of those paths and their result is real Abhidharma, understood, <laughs> Un- real understood, real understood, doesn't <laughs> doesn't mean that the books have to be Abhidharma. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, just because the last three paths are Abhidharma uh-huh. doesn't mean the books Makya. about Abhidharma have to be Abhidharma. You're translating the Makya, right? Okay. Yeah, that's okay. us. That's okay. us. Yeah. Makya. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to change this note to myself. Uh, later. I, I do later. I, I do swan, which means my own idea. Mind. And I'd say... Swan. Uh, <laughs> no, it's swan. It's an old name for oh. myself. Uh, <laughs> Lambe equals... Uh, no, it's path. Path. Turn four. Oops. Turn four. Turn Okay. Then it makes sense. And that's the end of the argument. Uh, oh. Just because those three paths get mm-hmm. to be Abhidharma doesn't mean the books about Abhidharma get to be Abhidharma. Okay. He doesn't think that's fair. We don't care. I'm on this side. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, this is really funny. Uh, okay, I mean it's terrible, but it's funny. Okay, please read Kachi. loudly. Don't be shy. Sugang will correct you. Kachi, dun, nyamba, ch, ch, nyamba, numba, 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 nung, numba, ch, numba, yimba, tell. Good, because he believes it. Lungi, ch, numba, mer. Sekbe. Sekbe. The under an... Okay, R after an S is not pronounced at all. Uh-huh. Okay, just <coughs> mer sekbe. Sekbe. <coughs> like ginseng, fire off me. Chengyongba. Sekbe. Sekbe. Be. Chengyongba. Bonggile. Ah, I forgot. Jungbe. 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 Na. Makabo. Makabo. Bo. Makabo. Yeah, that's a second syllable B that's pronounced with a B. Oh, okay. Okay, oh. be careful. Oh, okay. Makabo. Makabo. Not well. Okay. <coughs> this is a nice argument. Uh, and then we're done with a big section. He's finally going to move on to something else. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Okay, so Kachik. Lung Lumba. Again, it's pretty much shunglumba. Mm-hmm. Same, Same thing. thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Abhidharma, Abhidharma in the form of the physical teachings. Mm-hmm. Uh, videos, audios, you know, mm-hmm. books. Mm-hmm. Okay. So lung means physical, mm-hmm. as opposed to topa. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Uh, End of the Abhidharma. Mm-hmm. Last lines. Mm-hmm. The yes. distinction is made between the physical Dharma right. mm-hmm. and the idea in the hearts of people. Yeah. Which one will die out first? The idea in the hearts of people. In the hearts of people. Yeah. And then it will die out in the library. Mm-hmm. The books mm-hmm. will die out. This is the last depressing lines of the Abhidharma. The last 500. <coughs> okay. Um, so. Buddha's okay. never died, so that one can't die. <laughs> okay, so let. So the physical form of Abhidharma, Lung Lumba, 
<coughs> the okay, the physical form, the physical teachings of Abhidhamma. Yes, they are two Abhidhamma. Yes, they are two Abhidhamma. Mm-hmm. He's coming back. The guy's coming back for more. We did, he didn't get hit hard enough. And only one eye is black. He wants the other eye black. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, it is Abhidhamma. And then his reason is really cool. I'll give. Can I risk it? <laughs> I'll give two hundred dollars to anyone who can explain it. But you have to do it within one minute. It's eight oh nine. Read the second half there. After the tell, up to kibble. Figure it out. Uh, it doesn't cover it because you could burn those books in a fire, but it's still not going to get rid of the dharma, which is still uh, which is <coughs> Looks like which I'm has saying. been born of. Then I'll shut up. <laughs> Keep going, I'm saving money. <laughs> I knew this meditation now could be good for something. Which comes from There should be a percentage What's kickback, right? right? If they don't get it, if I get two dollars <laughs> Oh wow. <laughs> 56, 55, 55. <laughs> 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 Of their arrival. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. for, to understand this one, you gotta understand the expression chipong delay. Uh, oh. Unfortunately, oh. we don't. Uh, That's the one. This is one of the most serious oh, karmas Chipungile. of all. Okay. okay. The karma of, of giving, giving up the dharma. Uh, okay, like if you. If you change, if your mind changes, and you say all oh, this translation stuff is all bullshit, all those t- books are bullshit. Oh, yeah, I wasted three years sitting in that class. And that's a special bad karma, extremely serious bad karma. You know, if you're gonna quit, quit, but don't diss it. Okay, it's it's dissing the dharma. You know, all this stuff is stupid. You know, so that's called chipongile. All right, very very serious, extremely serious karma. Oh, if you're gonna quit, quit, but don't diss it. Don't disrespect it. Yeah, yeah. Say it's not for me. I, it's okay. Maybe other people benefit. I don't know. Okay. Say I don't know. Don't say it's bad. Okay. So that's a special kind of bad karma. Okay. Uh, now, <coughs> if you burn uh, Abhidharma in the form of the books in a fire, oh, in a fire, mere sick. Okay. If you burn it. Uh, you do commit the karma of giving, giving up the dharma in the form of burning the abhidharma. Mm-hmm. Wow. Therefore, those books must be abhidharma. Uh-huh. One form. Oh, oh yeah, boy. yeah, yeah, I get it. That oh, it? Yeah. He's yeah. using as a proof. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. If you burn them, you, g- you committed a serious bad karma, so they must be abhidharma. Yeah. Because yeah. if they're not abhidharma and you burn them, what's, what's the big deal? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. He still wants the books to be Abhidharma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we say Mark Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, we sure say Mark sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, don't forget, between yeah. this chair and this now, what so are we going to insert? Yeah, in our heads, in our own ear, we're going to say Chir Sen Ma. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then we answer Mark It's true nice. that if you burn yeah. those books, you've burned the Abhidharma. Doesn't but make that it. doesn't mean they're real Abhidharma. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Got it? Yep. Cool. Yeah. It's a, it's an interesting argument, and and it's sort of uh, sad that uh, most of these books were burned later. <coughs> this book was burned. Most of the copies of this book were burned uh, in 1959. Oh, the library, the Sarah's library was burned completely. All books were gone. So, uh, 
Okay, anyway. Uh, Sumbani. Now, when you get somebody in a book that says, number three, yeah. you can frustrate your reader by... No, no, just leave it alone. Yeah, just yeah. say number three, yeah. and then go on. You know, they didn't but, mind. Uh, it's more polite <coughs> to go back and find number three. And I, I thought I would give you a little lesson in finding number three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the problem is, it could have been third in a list of five. Mm -hmm. So it's not gonna be uh, introduced as number three ten pages ago. Sure. He didn't not. say third, mm -hmm. ten pages ago. He said there's five, here's the first. Mm -hmm. It was just for the last number two, right? Maybe he listed the five, maybe he didn't list the five. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can work back slowly, you know, work back, oh, here's two, here's mm -hmm. one, but that's the one of the one. Right. You know, I mean, you can spend a couple hours this way. <coughs> Not really, you can spend about 15 minutes trying to figure it out. Yeah. But mm -hmm. there's, a, there's, a, there's a cheater way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to teach it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Go back and look for Dumbo. <coughs> okay. Right. Uh, Go back and look second. for Dumbo. Oh, yeah, here's the Dumbo. Uh, because no matter how many things are in the list, yeah. it's going to start with Dumbo. It and it's going to be the most recent Dumbo. So the, the, next, the first thing before yeah, Dumbo no, is going to be the list. Yeah. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Right, unless there were some Dumbos. Unless there were some Dumbos between. Somewhere. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. ended. Okay, so let's just do it as an experiment. Okay, let's, we're going to look for Dumbo, which is first. Type it in, search for it, it's going to find the next one below. Then use this back arrow right here. Go to this back arrow and go back. Now, that happens to be a footnote that I made to myself. That That's not going to count. Uh, uh, this is my own note to myself. Okay. <coughs> okay. This is when they say Dumbo need the list just finished. Before it, here's the list, uh, the meaning of the words, and, a, and an analysis. So that's but not that's not, not the one we're in, right? Because there's only two elements. Right. <coughs> we're looking for a list of three or more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Go back to another Dumbo. Here it says here's the first. This one has two. 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 Thanks, but no cigar. <laughs> <laughs> That's an American idiom. It's not. You know it. <laughs> okay, Close, but no cigar is. I get it. I get five dollars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so each idiom I teach them, I get five dollars. You know this idiom? Can I have oh, someone no, to do it yeah, wrong? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Close, but no cigar. It has to be from Groucho Oh. Yeah, sounds right. Yeah, or now, they're, they're riffing on it. How many elements in this one? So mm -hmm. we, I went back to Dumbo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, And then I went to the list right in front of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That one had two. And we can even, even list them. So this it has three Dharma. parts. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this one had three parts. Imputed army Dharma. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Yeah. And the third was, I'm going to give you an explanation of the meaning of the name of Abhidharma. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we found it. We found a secret. Now, good job, Stanley. Now, <laughs> block it, <coughs> block it, and take it forward for your reader. Uh -huh. Okay. Did you copy it? Yeah. Uh, where are we? Um, oh, we're actually we're looking for. We're looking for Sum Sum Sumpani. Sumpani. I think so. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so I happen to have filled it in already. <laughs> oh. I already uh, did the, this work for you. And then you look, you look down and you see if it generally is treating the subject you expected. Okay? Yeah. But, but never don't fill it in for your reader. Right. The Tibetan system is... Uh, what's his name? Sanskrit scholar. Dwight Whitney calls it slovenly. <laughs> slovenly. Slovenly. It's messy. Mm -hmm. It's not nice to your reader. Okay, here's number three. What number three? I don't know. <coughs> don't do that. Go find it. You do the work for the reader. That's your job. Okay, that's what you're getting paid for. Okay, here's the third one, which is the meaning of the word Abhidharma. Or, sorry, kosha. Okay. We finished oh. Abhidharma meaning. This, uh, this is the meaning of the word kosha, oh, which is a big subject in the uh, Abhidharma. Yeah. The meaning of the word kosha, uh, uh, treasure uh, house or treasure, is a big subject in the Abhidharma. God, we're still glossing the title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More years wow. of that. 
Yeah, that's why his books. That's why I chose a young person for this. Book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and by the way, this is root text. Okay. Oh. And you're gonna, you're gonna, oh. you're gonna bold out the root text in the explanation. Okay. Someday. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. So please read. Dear. 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 Do they don't do young duck shoot shoot ram 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 d e ne 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 De, yeah, ta, ta, ta. De, de, it's that de, Brazilian D. De, yeah. It doesn't exist in English. It's not an English D. We use a D because we need to choose something. It's close to a D, but it's not a D. It's ta. ta. Okay, te. Because when you say de, it means group. When you say te, it means that. And if, and, if, and if you hear in your head de, you will never be a good translator. Because there's 14 choices. Of day, L D E S D E, G D E. You know, you'll B D E. You'll you'll never be a good translator. You gotta work on the pronunciation, okay? Because otherwise, you just constantly be looking up things in a dictionary. It's not day. It's day. And there's only one day. So you save yourself time. And the rest are day, right? I mean, the rest are different words. But any B D E. Is pleasure. Right. S D E <coughs> is group. Yeah. L D E is a key, golden key. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you know, uh, so you're going to go. You mentally, you can't translate fast because you've got six choices instead of one. Yeah. So you gotta pronounce things right in your own head. You can mispronounce them in the class, mm -hmm. but in your own head, you gotta make the sounds right, and you just be a better translator. Okay. There's only one option if you pronounce it right. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna skip that because we're gonna reveal it. Oh. You see, okay. this next few paragraphs are gonna reveal it. Okay. Che chung. Che chung means. Uh, the way you would translate this is, the third. Now we move on to our third section, which is an explanation of the name. Of the meaning of the of the name Kosha, okay, and the way you translate this Che Chung is before the verse. You say, and this is indicated in the following verse, colon, and then you give the verse, okay. So don't wait till you hit the Che Chung to say that's As why that's in the verse. That's how they do it in Tibetan. That's not how we do it in English. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll say it again. Uh, the meaning of the word Kosha is demonstrated in the following two lines, or something like that. And then you give the two lines. Okay. Okay. So it drives who crazy? Me. Waiters. High protectors. High protectors are like, somebody left something out. I don't see anything oh. after the verse. Yeah. No, the translator was smart. He used English syntax. He put it in front of the verse. Because that's where it comes in English. I will teach you in the next two lines what's the meaning of the word kosher. Okay, got it? Mm. So don't let me see. Don't abuse this chungs, okay? Che chungs. Okay. No, I don't want to see abused like chungs running around. <laughs> oh, no. Would you okay. want to say it's the, these two lines from the root text? Or is that. I don't mind. I think it's fine. Good. But in your text, it's going to be bold in any way. Oh, yeah. Uh, but you can say the following two lines of the root text. Yeah, that's fine. Nowadays, we have very sophisticated hypertext. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, I mean, uh, hypertexture. Hypertexture, what's hypertexture mean? They go through your text later. So after you translate a book into English, the, the China Pure Gold team translated it into Chinese, modern Chinese, so people can understand it. Then the French Arabic team jumps in and translate to French. Uh, what and, the? And, uh, <laughs> and the Germans jump in, and the Russians jump in, and the Mexicans jump in, and they start translating. <laughs> it. 
And then the hypertexters jump in. Mm. Although we should all hypertext our own books. Uh, hypertexters say this English word connects to this Tibetan word. Yeah. And they, we have a program that connects them. <coughs> then the dictionary makers jump in. Yay. If you're a hypertexter, you are a dictionary maker. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's what's oh, so yeah. the real one. <laughs> cool. well, and then that, that goes into a program, and we create a dictionary. You see, mm -hmm. then it becomes a translator's dictionary based only on your correct translations mm -hmm. and no other opinions from the internet, mm -hmm. which, are, which are often wrong mm -hmm. and poison the dictionary. You yeah. see what I mean? So we'll have a dictionary, <coughs> Sedona dictionary, yeah. created by the hypertexters. So if you want to participate in this process, mm -hmm and you're not one of the primary translators, and you're not even a secondary translator, because you're going to be busy. You won't have time to do this stuff. Uh, then you can be a hypertexter, mm -hmm. and he's in charge of that, uh, and uh, he's good at it. And you can join in on that. And it's kind of fun. You learn Tibetan because you're saying, okay, here it says kosha. You know, where's the word for kosha in the English? And it's uh, learning. You learn, okay? And the karma of creating something that is used by hundreds of, by hundreds of years after that is that every time someone uses a dictionary, you get more good karma to understand the scripture. Yay. It's very interesting. That that's the karma of working for ACIP, for example. It's also incredibly fun to do with friends. Well, they do it once a week. They talk. They talk about their troubles. Historically, I got a chechum. <laughs> I don't see any English after the verse. Can you help me out? We Somebody have else so much say. fun when we get together. Yeah, we together. Do. It's yeah. so good. So uh, you're welcome to join that. It's great. If yeah, you want to help out, and then you know, one day it will become obvious that your Tibetan got really good, and we'll give you a book. You see, so, or at least you'll be a better secondary translator. Okay. Uh, and then we create a pure dictionary. Now that's not a normal dictionary, it's a contextual dictionary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which means uh, you'll be able to push a button and it will jump to the book where it is. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Cool. Somebody looks up kosha, now that things are digital, you don't have to, have, you don't have to flip back paper. You know what I mean? Uh, you look up the word <coughs> kosha, treasure house, and you what we call definitive occurrence, the, when you push that button, it'll jump to this part of his commentary, and you read the whole explanation. You see what I mean? So then we have to have people who do that part. Mm -hmm. There's four of them. Yeah. Four people who... I put them in the, in the Abhidharma Kosha dictionary. I was doing it on note cards, on the bus, yeah. for 19 years. Yeah. Okay? Uh. E, N, D, L. I marked them, E, N, D, or L. I was doing paper hypertexting, but every occurrence was marked with E, N, or D, or L. Uh -oh. E means a general explanation, maybe three pages long. Because you want to know, if the, if the hypertexting results in 50, 50 places where Kosh has talked about, I'd like to know which one of those 50 is a long explanation. That's called E. N means, where did they enumerate them? Here it says five heaps. What are they? Yeah. Go to the dictionary, hit the N entry, mm -hmm. and that jumps to a place where somebody told you, here's number one, here's number two, here's number three. Here's number three. That's called N. D means definitive. Okay, like this is the accepted definition of the second link. So it will... It will jump to the wrong look. Hmm. It'll jump to the to the correct definition of the second link. It'll take you there. So there's fifty second links in the in the hypertext dictionary, but only one of them is, is the correct definition. Uh -huh. yeah. So so the hypertexter has to mark it D. Uh -huh. D means definitive. D L. Definition. L means literal explanation. In the Abhidharma, why is heaps called heaps? They'll, they'll tell you they're called heaps because of this. They're called heaps because they're piles. Uh, so that so takes literal. you to the literal de yeah. definition. So you have an expanded explanation, maybe three pages. You have a list of the things. You have this technical definition. 
and you have the literal explanation. What does heat mean? Mm -hmm. Why do they call it heat? Right. Why do they call it shooting karma? Uh -huh. And then somebody's talking about ar arrows and archers. Right. <laughs> and then you'd have an unmarked one, which is just appearance. Yeah, unmarked one means, yeah, it's just an occurrence. Yeah. It's not definitive. It's not an enumeration. It's not an explanation. Mm -hmm. It's not a literal explanation. Mm -hmm. But and I physically did the Abhidharma by hand. There's, the whole thing is E&D, 1,200 pages. Wow. Okay. On note cards, on a huge briefcase. Can't and the people that next to me hated me. Yeah, it's no, it's in, I had it's it. In the, it's in the back of the text. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's, it's in, in the, the back, back of the text. Yeah. Yeah. So we would have to have yeah. codes yeah. for each genre yeah. so that we understand how the word yeah. is, yeah. is yeah. translated. Yeah. In. Maybe, but I, I would start with those four. Anyway, let's not take Stanley's time, which we already did. But what I'm saying is that everybody in this room and everybody listening can participate sure. with the hypertexting. Okay. And it will. Should with their books. And then you'll learn more to start being a translator. We also need a programmer on that job. Yeah, we need some programmers. Okay. So, Dilak Sikdun Dantache Bingi. We're going to talk about the meaning of the word Sikdun, Kosha, Kosha. And then we're going to tache, but tache means analysis, mm -hmm. which means we're going to have some debate about it. Mm -hmm. People are going to come and say, I don't think that's what kosher is. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to have a <coughs> fight about it. Tache means uh, analysis. Oh, cool. I, sometimes I say dialectical analysis. Mm -hmm. So, so all monastic textbooks, most monastic textbooks are either chidun or tachit. Mm -hmm. Tachit. Mm -hmm. uh, overview, chidun. Mm -hmm. Say chidun. 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 Or a tachit. Tachit. An analysis. Dialectic. Dialectic. Analysis. Uh, so working on the tachit for Tindra. dependence, right? Uh, but here, tache, same verb, without the narrow means uh, we'll debate it. Oh. It kind of means we'll debate it. We'll go, we'll tear it apart. Okay? Yeah, cool. All right. Mm, so it's not one of the two kinds of genres of yuchas. Mm -hmm. oh, it's yes, just a verb meaning we're going to tear it apart. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dhammani, here's the first, which is the meaning of the word. Go. Sen. Denche. Denche. Di. Churchen. Nice. Di. Kyudla. It's a prenasal. Z. 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 Ch. 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 De, de, good. De, dear, 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 Okay, Ram. good. Let's do this one. Ram. This is a very, very Ram. famous uh, thing. Ram. No, this explanation about the word kosher. It might be famous because so many people never got to the rest of the book. <laughs> <laughs> this is the easy part of the argument. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's a big dropout rate of Amidama. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> Not many people survive Amidama. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm crossing the streets today, Stanley. <laughs> Denja in Sanskrit? Shastra. No. Shastra. No. Is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's the long end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shastra. Oh. on their side. Shastra. <laughs> Shastra. Shastra. What's Shastra? Sword. Sword. Dagger. S word. Shastra. So Shastra means classical commentary. Okay. Let's take this classical. Normally that means tenure test. Mm -hmm. A book from India. Uh, if you're Chinese and you're translating this stuff, it, it probably refers also to the early Chinese commentary. Mm -hmm. Okay, they would be called shastras. Yense is definitely already a, a shastra because it's in the collection of shastras. So di tenje di chuche, kila chengun bezu chuche jate. We call this book the treasure house 
above of higher knowledge. Okay, we call this book the treasure house of higher knowledge. Okay, and then he's going to give a reason. Now, note the reason is split into two because of this um. Okay. So he says everything before this chair is because, and then he says or. And then we got another chair down here. Right. Uh, There's two reasons. And they are, what do you call them? Dumka. Mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive. You choose which one you like. Oh. I mean, it's tradition. Again, there's two ways to read the word kosher. I see. And uh, it's uh, alternate. Any kosher way? It's a choice. Okay. Both are valid. Both are valid. They're not the same. Mm -hmm. You know, you can pretty much take whichever one you want. Mm -hmm. It's just a choice. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this Ram means or. Okay. And by the way, that's suffix letter dependent. What's that mean? It means the first the letter is going to be the last letter of the, the, last letter of the last If before, this word okay. before it had ended in L, um, this would be Lam. Mm -hmm. La right? If this word had ended in G, this had, would be come. So this means or. But it's a weird thing in Tibetan that which letter you use before am depends oh, on the last letter right. before it. Uh, if it had been dukam or rolam, okay, uh, okay, it's dependent on the mm -hmm. suffix letter before. All right, so let's do the first one and then we'll do the second one. All right. A, an important word here is chit. Say chit. Chit. You chit. haven't seen it anywhere else, and you won't. <laughs> Uh, it means to fit perfectly. And the classic example is a sword in a scabbard. A sword in a sword holder. It goes perfect fit, yeah. you know. Okay, so chip means fits perfectly. Okay? It, and you won't see it anywhere else. Okay? It fits perfectly. Uh, and here's perfectly. Yan It fits perfectly. Okay. Mm, what fits perfectly? Mm, uh, the collection of Abhidharma. Uh, the yeah. seven great books on Abhidharma. Yeah. The seven great books on Abhidharma. And we're going to get them. There's a famous verse. Where it came from is debatable. But uh, there's a famous verse on the seven ancient books of, of Abhidharma. Three of the authors are famous. Malgalyayana, Shariputra, and Samuel. Huh? Who? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, anyway, uh, and then the other four you never heard of them. Okay. <laughs> so uh, anyway, and I, I I don't recall how many still Steve exist. Jenkins. How many? Uh, Sorry. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so Jirja means subject, subject matter, right? Matter. <laughs> so it just, it, just had it's the first of the four par qualities of a Buddhist book. Yeah. Good uh, subject matter. Jirja uh, means subject matter. Okay, content, uh -huh. the content of the seven books of higher knowledge. Okay. There are three. Now, this isn't a positive. Uh -huh. This Fair isn't a positive. The three forms of Abhidharma, uh, oh. which is the subject matter of the seven books. Okay. Three forms. And I, oh. I went and filled it in for you. Path books. Path so. Abhidharma, book Abhidharma, or result Abhidharma. Uh -huh. This is the classic three kinds of Abhidharma. Cool. He didn't mention what they were. Uh -huh. He said the three kinds of the three forms of Abhidharma, which are the classic subject matter of the Abhidharma, mm -hmm. uh, in the seven books of Abhidharma. Okay. Mm -hmm. By the way, those seven books, uh, which were collected by Arhats, right, mm -hmm. by tradition, <laughs> in the various councils, especially the first two or three councils after the Buddha passed away. Uh, they were collected by supposedly by our hearts, you know, and uh, sutras believe that they're not valid. They're not the word of the Buddha. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. the they're the word of the arhats. Right. Okay. So they say we're not going to use those. We're going to stick to the sutra. Mm -hmm. So they're called sutras. Mm -hmm. Sutras is a reaction to Abhidharma. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Then the Abhidharma guys, uh, after the Buddha passed away, these seven arhats collected together. All this, and they restructured it mm -hmm. into a system, okay, mm, which they claim is the word of the Buddha, okay. 
Uh, I had something else to say about that. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. And then somebody took all those and made one huge book. Oh, um, and it's called Che Dr. Mama. Uh, che, hmm? che Dr. Shepa. That's the detail is. The detailed like. explanation. Yeah. They took all those seven books and they made a huge version called The Detailed Explanation. Same it's time? At the same time? <coughs> probably after the seven books. So somebody said, hey, why don't we just make an encyclopedia of all this and we'll call it The Detailed Explanation. We take all seven of the Abhidharma books and we'll call it The Detailed Explanation. And, f and the people who support that book are called Detailist. Got it? So you can go backwards from Detailist. Detailist studies the detailed explanation, which is the seven books all dumped together. Got it? Yeah, sure. Then where does the kosher come in? Kosher is much, much later. You're talking 800 years later. Oh, right, because Vasubandhu was... Yeah, you're talking a long time later. Okay. After, after 700 years of uh, degeneration, no. people would say Abhidharma is like a big thug. thug. Mm. Abhidharma pushed around the Buddhist world for 700 Man years. <laughs> Strong army. Yeah, they just Strong kicked out everybody else. Uh -huh. Everything became Abhidharma. Abhidharma During that period, Buddhism went to... Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Thailand, Burma, Burma. Thailand. Okay. Uh, and then they say that Abhidharma was like a big mean guy who took over for 700 years and then emptiness teachings got, got kicked out. There weren't any good, good emptiness teachings. Then Nagarjuna came back. Nagarjuna single-handedly beat 700 years of Abhidharma guys. Okay. It's like Charles Bronson. <laughs> 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 okay, so anyway, uh, so the three kinds of Abhidharma. Sorry. Three kinds of Abhidharma, some of which are not real, are not ultimate Abhidharma. Okay, like the books, path books, and result Abhidharma, which is maybe me Right. Mm. Uh, or Nirvana. Mm. Okay. Uh, those. The, the, all the subject matter of the seven books of Abhidharma fits perfectly into the subject matter of this kosha. Okay. Therefore, you should translate it as treasure house because the treasure is in it. Okay? Abhi, the kosha is a treasure house and all the meaning of the seven books has been put into this box. Okay? All right? So therefore you can call it in that case, you should translate kosha as the treasure house, mm -hmm. because the treasure is the the, 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 the subject matter. The three, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. three great topics of Abhidharma Wizard that came the from the seven books. The seven books, good. Right. Okay. The jewels are the seven books' great ideas, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they got put into the kosha. Okay. Cool. That's one way you can read it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> now, or um, Ram. Or you can say, Denjin D, say, translate, say it please, don't translate. Denjin D, E, Jun, 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 Wei, Wei, Ne, Kyang, Wei, Dun, Po, De, De, is it the third one? Tay, tay, tay. In bay, you, then, you ten, just, oh, just ten, you ten, and then make this one longer. Key, good. Tay, ta, ta, jibay, 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 jibay. Okay, or you can say, uh, ten, jib, di, ju, and ne, kyang. You can say, uh, sorry, mm, or you can say that this book is the treasure that came out of that treasure house. Okay? Okay? You just switch it. Okay? Or you can say that the treasure is the contents of the Abhidharma Kosha. And you see, it's, there's a problem with the word Kosha. It can mean treasure house or it can mean the stuff in the treasure house. Oh, yeah. So you can read yeah. it either way. 
Yeah. He's saying you can read it either way. Either the kosher is holding the treasure of the seven books meaning, mm. or this is a treasure that was taken out of the bank mm -hmm. of the seven books. Which okay. is the treasure house? Which, yeah, which means the seven books were the treasure house. Uh -huh. yeah. And this is just the treasure. treasure. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. 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 So you can't translate the title. You've got to choose one mm. or the other. <laughs> you know? Uh, in English, you know, I tried for like a couple of years and uh, I couldn't think of any way to do it. Chinese I decided on this word for both. You have a word for both? Yeah, Chinese. Zang. What is it? Zang. Say again? Zang. Zang? Yeah. Zang means, also means treasure and treasure house. Oh, okay. <laughs> Same okay. in Sanskrit. Yeah. It's one in English, uh, yeah, the treasure the mainly refers Zang. to the, oh, Zang. the Zang. gold coins. Mm -hmm. And treasure houses yeah. to play. Uh, but what he's saying is, the seven books are either the treasure or the treasure house. And the Abhidharma Kosha is either the treasure house or the treasure. You can read it either way. Okay, time is up. And there will always be, somebody will always get into swords. Here. Yeah. Swords yeah. and scabbard. Scabbard is the English word right. for where you put a sword. Yeah, a sheet. Yeah, for sure. as well. So somebody will always start talking about scabbard. That's what they say that you can. What's the sword? What's the scabbard? Is the seven books the scabbard or is the seven books the sword? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Could also so be a flask for holy booze. <laughs> a flask? A flask. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. 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 Oh, so I'm going to translate this sentence quickly. Tenjin de Jung in Nei. Where did? Where's the source? Here's the jung that we just had in Kunjung. 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 Source of Kunjung. suffering, uh, but here is the source of the source of this book. The source of this book is those seven books, and therefore we call it kosha, meaning the treasure, not treasure house. It's either the treasure house that holds the seven books meaning, or it's the treasure that was checked out of the treasure house of the seven books. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. Now you're kosher experts. Yeah. Like the fact sheets. Uh-huh. Sashi Dukki If you guys go downstairs during this break, just <coughs> oh, be by really, the way, really if, quiet. If you care. I'm sorry. No, uh, okay. There's two shahs in Sanskrit. Shah and shah. Sh 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 Turn your tongue back. Shah. Sh 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 and there's, uh, if you want another debate, kosha is spelled both ways. Kosha. 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 So it's beaming and it's pronunciation or dhamkas? Yeah, it's a choice. It's Both are legal. Both are correct. You know. Yeah. Sure. Cool. It's a one more correct from the other. What is kosha? No? Same thing. Sir Mona, Mona, right. It's two different side. ways you can pronounce the same, same word. Same oh, yeah. okay. So both are legal in Sanskrit. Oh, hmm. yeah. In Russian as well. Sviklash. Yeah? Hmm. Kakoi. Kosha. Kosheliok. Yeah. Kosheliok. Yeah. Kosheliok. Well, Kosheliok. 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 Yeah. 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 Oh. It's a wallet. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wallet. It's one. Wallet. 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 Wow. That's a treasure house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not just a For Antonio. Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Is it a common word? Yeah, very common. Yes. Wow. Cool. Kosher. Kosher I couldn't find any sense. I mean, the sense of root is a little weird. No, I couldn't. It's not comfortable. <laughs> but if there's a Russian, it means there must be a sense of root. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Cool.